Hey guys, Russell here from the products team at Multitracks.com, and today I'm going to walk through customizing a chart on the web. First, we're going to log into our Multitracks.com account and head to a song page. You'll see I'm here on the You Are Life by Hillsong Worship song page, looking at the overview. I'm going to go over here and click on the charts icon, and that's going to take me to where I can customize my charts. Right off the bat, you're going to see how many options for customizing charts there are. Every single key is available to you. Whatever key your team is playing in, you can choose that filter and it'll instantly change the chart to whatever key. There's the option to choose capo, if you have guitar players that are going to play with capo. You'll see there are three different chart types when you're looking at these filters. There's chords and lyrics for the musicians. There's just lyrics if a singer doesn't need all the chords that the instrumentalists will be playing. And for the most simple chart type, there's song map. When you click on song map, it's going to take you to just the arrangement of the song with the MD notes. Here is where you'll see any sort of dynamic cues, anything that the band might need to know for that specific section. But today we're going to go with chords and lyrics. There are four different ways to display the chords in your chart. There's chords, there's numbers, there's numerals, and finally, there's a do, re, mi filter. You can choose between a two column and a one column layout for your chart. And finally, you can choose between a full chart where every single section has all of the lyrics and the chords, or you can go with a condensed chart, which takes all of the lyrics and the chords that are in the first chorus and leaves them there. But every time that that chorus repeats, it just says chorus instead of having all the information inside of it. This will make for a much smaller chart if you're trying to conserve room on your page. There are other filters here at the bottom, song map, section outline, and MD notes that you can choose to leave in or take out. Once you have the final chart that you want to download, head back up to the top, and if you've already purchased the chart, you'll see a download button right here. Click on it, and just like that, you've downloaded your customized chart for You Are Life. And here we have it open, and it's just like any other PDF. You've got a two-page chart with all your customized options. One final note to remember is that once you've purchased the chart for a song, you have the ability to go back and download as many customized versions of that chart as your team needs. That's all you need to know to customize charts.